Turn on the Mi bedside lamp in yellow. Yellow coming right up. Change brightness to 75%. Okay, I've set the Mi bedside lamp to, to 75%. This is the Mi bedside lamp version 2. Let me show you how to set this up and we are going to explore its functions. So, let's go! <laughs> What's up Xiaomi fans, Christian here and welcome back to All About Me where I talk about Xiaomi products. For today's video, I'm going to show you the specs, features and walkthroughs on how to set up this Mi Bedside Lamp 2. And also you'll be seeing in this video the comparison between the version 1 and the version 2. And before anything else, let's give a shout to our Mi fans out there. Let's start from Philippines. So we have Ron Paul Sanico. We have a shout out to his girlfriend, Camille uh, Rilwin Carpio. He's from Dumaguete City, Philippines. And we have uh, Black Book, Arab Mortanilius, and Kyle Riley. And a shout out to Monish Rajit2002. He's from Tamil Nadu. And we also have from India, Joe Remo. And a special shout out to my wife, coming from Yasmin Ken and a shout out to Fresh Plum. Thank you all for your support and if you do want me to give you a shout on my next video, leave a comment below. Our list is getting longer and longer but it's more fun. We're getting more and more Xiaomi fans out there. So let me show you the Mi Bedside Lamp 2. Let's start with the unboxing. Alright, I got this from AliExpress. Uh, as you can see, the box is all dented. And the texts are, are in Chinese. So, uh, but fortunately, this Chinese, all those Chinese text, but uh, you can actually put in, um, you can set this up in a global Mi Home and it is compatible with the Apple Home Kit. So, let's open this. All right, so we have uh, the panel in Chinese. And underneath that is, um, there's a box. I think this is the power adapter. Oh, I think this is the wrong side. All right, let's open from this side. Okay, so this is the power adapter. It's a two pin power adapter. And underneath is our lamp itself. Luckily, although the box is dented, everything is still intact, I hope. Yeah, all, all still there, I mean, no issues. So don't be shy. Okay, so wrapped in plastic. It's so neat uh, with that label, which is an all Chinese sticker, and we have the QR code for the Apple Home Kit below. So let's power this thing up. All right, so let's plug this power adapter. This is a 100 to 240 volts, so it works with the US and uh, most parts of the world with 240. Let's add this to our Mi Home app. So hit on the plus sign at the top right. Okay, so there are a few ways that you can actually add this. You can either search for that device. You can just type in the name, Mi Bedside Lamp 2. So it comes up, you can select and gives you the instructions. Or you can use uh, the categories that they have. So you go to lighting and uh, Mi Bedside Lamp 2. All right, so first thing it's gonna tell us is to press those two buttons but before we do that uh, we have to switch on the device and press and hold it for five seconds until you'll see the light change let's do that again okay so now we, we can see the lights are changing so we just confirm and next and make sure your phone is connected to the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Enter your password if it's not there. So next. So now it's going to try to communicate and uh, connect to hand over the Wi-Fi details from your phone, from the Mi Home app to the lamp itself. So now it's configuring. And the connection doesn't take that long. It will probably just take around 30 seconds to one minute. All right, so we're all done. So just press on done, you can select the room and you can rename the device 
I'm just gonna keep it to that. Uh, let's hit on next. All right, so you can also share it to another Mi Home account or you can add the home kit here, but we're gonna do that separately. So we're all done, we're all set. Okay, so sometimes it's gonna prompt you to update uh, your device. So you can um, do that on and off here. Okay, that's that's uh, mentally switching it on and off. So we have, or you can do that here on the dashboard of the Mi Home. So once you open it, you can uh, do switching the color. So this is the warm and the white uh, color, which you can just slide from left to right to change the temperature of uh, the lamp or you can and you can slide it up or slide slide it down to change the brightness notice that the backlight of the of the control panel on the lamp itself is also changing so depending on the brightness you have so you go to the color so this icon will allow you to switch colors so just slide it left to right and uh, it will switch color accordingly to which color that you prefer so the same thing you can just slide it up or down to adjust the brightness and you can notice on the top you'll see how much like percentage is the brightness so you can see it from there okay so let's go to flow okay so flow if you just keep it like that it will just continuously change colors I mean the lamp will just continue to change colors so you can also slide from left to right if you want to change or set the speed and how frequently it changes the color so next set of icons we have the favorites and the snap so let's go to favorites so favorites we have the presets so this is also available in the version 1 so presets uh, they already have this lights where you can just apply it and it, ch it changes to their preset uh, light color so we have a few here um, the, light, the movie we have birthdays date night and so on so you can just try out this uh, light colors this preset so favorites you can also add your own favorite color so let's for example choose a color or a light okay and we want this to be our favorite so just press on that heart icon there on the top and name your favorite so name it press ok so once you go to the favorites the favorite tab your favorite is there so for example if we're on a certain light you want to switch it to your favorite light you just press on apply so it is just custom, uh, custom added preset and next is the snap so this is where it gets interesting because snap is it changes the color of the light depends on like where you point your your like just like a camera so where you point the crosshair to so it changes or it, it mimics that color but, and next let's explore its uh, options or maybe its settings so we can press on that settings button there at the top so here you can set the timer it's like a sleep timer and uh, yeah, just disregard that you can also add schedule time for it to turn on or turn off let's say you want to change or uh, you every 6 p.m. you want it to switch on and turns off at every 10 p.m. so you can set the, that on this page okay let's exit out of that another thing that you can add or you can also switch off the touch panel backlight so you can do that here and also you can set it as a night light and over here you can also set the default color or light setting I think this is for the button uh, if you hit on the mode button so you can change the order from here or change the light colors from here and you can also rename the device uh, device sharing you can share it to another me account check for firmware upgrades uh, smart scene this is for you to set those Siri automation or maybe your Google home automation uh, you have more settings where you can check your network info security settings FAQs and all that you can also 
add a home screen shortcut and of course the user agreement and there's a button there the last button that would allow you to uh, disconnect if you want to remove the Mi Best LM from your Mi Home so those are the settings that you can find on the Mi Home app so let's open the Apple Home so this is the Apple Home app for iOS which lets you securely control any smart home device labeled as works with Apple HomeKit accessory. In the app, you can organize your accessories by room, manage multiple accessories at the same time, control your HomeKit with Siri and more. So let's add it. So once you hit on, hit on add accessory, so this, something like a camera comes up and each device that is compatible with the Apple HomeKit has a QR code which you just scan it. So once you scan it, it will pair with your device okay so the next screen after it's been paired it will allow you to change the the name rename it you can set the default of uh, the room okay when you hit on next it will suggest you some scenes like arrive home leave home good morning good evening so you can switch on all these scenes it means if you run the scenes it, it will turn on turn off your uh, your device so we hit in good morning you will switch it on leaving home it will automatically switch it off arrive home it will automatically switch it on and good eve good night it will turn it off and you can also add more scenes uh, to your setup hey siri turn off the me bedside lamp okay the me bedside lamp too is off hey siri Turn on the Mi Bedside Lamp in yellow. Yellow coming right up. Hey Siri. Change brightness to 75%. Okay, I've set the Mi Bedside Lamp to, to 75%. As you can see with the Apple HomeKit setup, you, can, you don't have to record or preset a command for Siri unlike uh, the previous setup that we had. So as long as your device is compatible with the Apple HomeKit, so you can just straight away give commands to Siri to change the color, to change the brightness level, uh, to switch it on, to switch it off. So which makes those Apple HomeKit compatible devices very convenient, especially if you're an, I an Apple user. And next, we are going to do a side-by-side -side comparison between the version 1 and the version 2. And starting with our comparison is the design. So for the version 1, it is taller and it's a little bit slimmer compared to the version 2. So it occupies less space compared to the version 2. So I'll give this point to version 1. And next on our comparison are the buttons that you can see on the lamps itself. So for the version 1, you have the, uh, the buttons on the top. So we have the switch preset and the turn on and off button which is on the top which is physical buttons that you can press it has that clicking sound and uh, in terms of the brightness you just have to adjust it uh, clockwise to make it brighter and counterclockwise to make it uh, dimmer and while for the other one the version 2 we have this on the front so it is not a physical button it is a touch control Okay, and uh, there's a backlight in it that you will see how much brightness that you have. Okay, so I will give this one to version 2 because of its uh, better controls of the button. Uh, there's no physical button that you have to touch on and there's a backlight on it which is easier for you to see especially. Um, and it's easy to control the brightness. So for the version 1, you don't know where to uh, make that that clockwise or counterclockwise to adjust on the brightness and for our third point is we're gonna compare its brightness so for the version 1 of the bedside lamp uh, it has 300 lumen and the other one has uh, 400 lumen so definitely this one is brighter and in terms of the evenness of the light as you can see for the version 1 it gets brighter from the bottom and the top it gets a little bit darker well this it has an even light even all the way from the top all the way to the top it's all the same brightness for, for the version 1 it's blocked on the top so you can't see anything no light is being emitted there 
and uh, yep so this point goes easily to version 2 for the Mi bedside lamp so which brings us to our fourth point which is a gateway function so version 1 really has this gateway function so it helps this Bluetooth Mi temperature and humidity sensor to connect to your phone and store the data using the Mi bedside lamp because this one acts as a gateway and it has a Wi-Fi function so you you can record your temperature and uh, humidity from your home with the use of that uh, gateway so as you can see you will have this uh, data historical data of your room temperature whereas for version 2 of the Mi bedside lamp it doesn't have that fun gateway function so it, you can't connect any Bluetooth Xiaomi devices to connect uh, to the Mi bedside lamp version 2 so point number five is the voice assistant so for version one of the Mi bedside lamp it is compatible with the Google assistant by the use of the Mi home app and uh, it can do Siri but you have to manually add in the commands for Siri like if you do want to turn it on or off you have to record a voice for Siri to do that you can check out the video that I made for the version one and for the version 2, it is compatible with uh, Siri manual, uh, manual recording of your voice and also your Google Assistant as well as the home kit. So this point easily goes to version 2. And so next on our comparison point is can this version 2 pair with the Mi Band 4 or any Mi Bands? Okay, just a recap. So if you have the version 1, you wear this Mi Band, you pair it, you go to sleep, automatically it turns off the me bad side lamp but unfortunately this version 2 doesn't have that function so it you can't pair your Mi Band 4 and it doesn't have that op option to turn off automatically so for our last point this will be our tiebreaker is the price so which one is cheaper which one is more affordable definitely it's the version 2 version 2 is only $40 at least and the version 1 is about starting with 55 US dollars but it would depend on where you buy it price might vary but definitely the version 2 is cheaper so I have links on the description if you want to purchase either of this versions of the Mi bedside lamp overall this is a great upgrade especially with its Apple HomeKit support it's a great gift for family and friends especially for birthdays and Christmas now that it's fast approaching I have links on the description below if you're interested in buying this you can check out that link and thank you so much for watching i hope you guys love it i hope you guys got something out of it for more me videos don't forget to hit on that subscribe button and that bell notification icon so that you get notified once i upload a new video and i'll see you guys on the next video